be made public. Again, the president's going to leave that decision up to the attorney general. Um, just because he hasn't made that call, he's following the proper process. If he did it the other way, you guys would go crazy saying, I can't believe the president's done this. Um, I mean, I think it's such a double standard. He's following the process, and they'll see what happens. We think the public should have moved on a long time ago. In fact, I think the public did move on a long time ago. I think the only people that are still hung up on it are Democrats and the media. Sarah, yesterday, yesterday a federal judge rebuked the current uh, Labor Secretary Alex Acosta for his handling of a case involving um, alleged sexual crimes against then young girls. What is the White House's response? And I guess the question that a lot of people have is, why should Alex Acosta be trusted to have a job at this level? Uh, my understanding is it's a very complicated case, uh, something we're certainly looking into, uh, but that they made the best possible decision and deal they could have gotten at that time. But again, that's something we're looking into and we'll keep you posted as we have something more. President still have confidence in the Labor Secretary? Uh, again, we're looking into the matter. I'm not aware of any changes in that front. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry, I'll come back to you. I certainly don't think that the president at any point um, has done anything but condemn violence um, against journalists or anyone else. In fact, every single time something like this happens, um, the president is typically one of the first people to condemn the violence, and the media is the first people to blame the president. Um, we should all join together and start condemning the violence, whether it's against uh, members of the media, whether it's against Democrats, Republicans, any person in this country uh, that is unacceptable, and that's why every time it comes up, um, we have been consistent and repeatedly said that we condemn violence in all forms. I'll come back. You were saying a minute ago that there was uh, no need for the campaign to co collude uh, with the Russians. But there have been so many indictments, there have been some convictions, and there were so many contacts with the Russians. So it's, uh, how do you balance that? It's real simple to me. The president, uh, far and away, was the better candidate. He had a better message, and he outworked Hillary Clinton. That's why he's president. Um, he didn't need to, nor did he collude with the Russians. Pretty simple. Sir, what is the White House going to be responding to the House resolution? Has high expectations. Sorry, can you say the first part again? On North Korea, you just said uh, just a few minutes ago that you think the only one that has high expectations is the media. Did the White House not have high expectations in this upcoming summer? Look, we're continuing to uh, have these conversations. Um, and as the president has said, we'll see what happens. We're taking this one step at a time. We're continuing to see positive progress. Uh, and we think that's a good thing. But we're, we're not going to be naive in the process. Um, we know we have a long way to go. And we're going to continue moving forward as things are going well. Sarah, Sarah, what is the White House doing to prepare for the release of the Mueller report? Are they prepared for that to potentially emerge while the president is overseas? Look, I think we're always prepared for a number of things that come at us, but right now our focus uh, is not on the Mueller report, but it's on doing our jobs. It's on focusing on the things that Americans care about. Right now it's focusing on preparing for the meetings that will take place next week um, and looking forward to having a great trip. Thanks, guys.